Hello everybody and welcome to this video. I am Alwyn Jennings of alwynjennings.com. I am a channel, a spiritual teacher or coach and a healer. I channel my spirit guides to bring messages to people and to my clients and in doing so it is like having a direct link with divine wisdom. My guides can bring lots of clarity to all different situations and I know that my clients who work with them through me receive a lot of clarity, guidance, transformation and healing. In this video I am going to be talking about living in the fifth dimension. You will have heard a lot about the world moving into the fifth dimension and you, like many others, including me, are probably wondering what that is really all about. My guides have told me or advised me that it would be a good idea to get their input as to what all this talk about the fifth dimension is about and to hopefully reassure you that it's a process and an awakening and an ascension of the human consciousness to the next level. At least I hope that's what they're going to say. <laughs> so when I channel, for those of you who have not seen me channel before, I ask my guides to merge with my energy. And the reason I know when they're in and merged is that I can feel the causal chakra at the back of my head expanding and my spine tingles but I also get a sense of being part of their collective. So my guides are a group of ascended masters and angels, also other non-physical beings from other entities, including a Syrian, a Palladian, and a dragon, <laughs> to name a few. They call themselves the Meter Collective. When I channel them, it's as if I am hearing or sensing one voice, but actually they talk as a collective. So they talk as we. So I'm gonna hand it over to them. To do this, I close my eyes so that I can focus on what's coming through. Welcome everybody, it is a pleasure to be here today and to be given the opportunity to talk about this topic which has many of you confused and there are many of you that don't really understand what the fifth dimension is all about including our channel Olwyn at times. There are lots of confusing messages out there. Everyone who has an interest in this, so who works in the spiritual business or in the spiritual field, have thoughts and opinions and some of them channel as well. Now, 
although some of their opinions may differ slightly, they are not wrong. But at the same time, it can sometimes seem that their opinions can differ. But this is because this subject is so complex and there are many layers to the fifth dimension. We will try to be brief because we do not want to bore you and we want to try and keep this as straightforward as possible. And of course it is from our understanding and our hopes for how this is going to happen going forward. So, the world, up until recently, has been living in what we call, in the spiritual world, the third dimension. This all started to happen when man was given free will and when man decided to live life in a very third dimensional way. What do we mean by that? So we mean that man started to evolve and allowed his mind to take over and started to ignore his intuition and the belief that had been there before that everything is connected and that man should always work together in harmony because that was always the plan. However, and this is really when we think about it or when we assess it, it is not a criticism of humankind because of course it was inevitable that man would live more from his mind than from his heart because that is more logical. It was necessary to become powerful to um, in a way that meant being rich or having or having material things. It became necessary to strive for what next rather than living in the moment. It became necessary, also it was thought to worry about absolutely everything and to be in competition with each other. Now we see this on a very basic level in everyday life but we also see it amongst your politicians and of course at the very worst when, when parts of the world are at war. What essentially has happened is that people have forgotten that they are essentially spirit themselves. They are energy and all energy is connected. Yes, you were born into a physical body but you are essentially energy and inside you, if you like, is spirit. You've come here to learn and to see what it's like to be human. Now as time has gone on, this third dimensional reality is not working. And people have become more and more aware of this and have woken up more and have started to move towards the fourth dimension, which is when they're bringing more awareness to the fact that they are spiritual and that they have an intuition that can help them in their everyday lives. But still, 
that is a if you like war although we do not like that word between their mind and their spirits often ignoring their intuition or their own guidance from spirit because it does not seem logical or because they have been conditioned by society to act in a certain way or conditioned by their upbringing or indeed conditioned by past lives. So you see, it is incredibly complicated. What the fifth dimension is all about is re reaching a state of unity and harmony where your intuition comes first. Where, we, where, where humans work together, where there is peace and cooperation, where more light is being brought in, when humans understand that they are spirit, that they are energy and in fact all around them there are non-physical energy which they can start to connect to more easily. So in other words as people's consciousness starts to rise from the third and the fourth dimension into the fifth they will be able to see and connect with all energy around them. Now everything has energy, so think about that. Be able to connect with nature, the trees, things you can't really see with the human eye, such as the elemental kingdom. And also it will be more normal to connect with your own spirit guides. It's a level of consciousness rather than a physical way of being in a, a straight away. So for example, it is necessary to raise your consciousness to this level so that you are aware of what is possible so that you are aware that there are children in this world now that already have this level of consciousness and they are finding it hard to fit in with the third and fourth dimensional world they are ready they can already see the bigger picture that we're all connected many of them are especially gifted but may not be rewarded for that gift because the current society does not acknowledge such gifts of intuition and being able to see things for what they truly are. Their brains are different. They have come here to help repair the world and this is another subject we will talk about again. So for now, it, the fifth dimension is something that is to be accessed in terms of raising your awareness, your vibration, so that you are more aware of how important, how important it is that you are connected to your spiritual side that you live from your heart much more, that you, tr you stop overthinking, you stop worrying, you try to put fear to one side and have more trust. It is when we try to see the light in all the situations and even when bad things happen, we send in love. Because when you send in love and light, the bad things don't seem so bad.
There are many things you can do to prepare yourself and to help you raise your vibration to this beautiful level of existence. It will take time for you to reach it because you are still living in a very human world at a very human dimension and will get pulled back in to mundane problems that zap your energy so to speak but the important thing is to look at those problems from a new perspective to see that nothing lasts forever and that quite often the answers, in fact, always the answers are within you. You are not separate from us. This is what you need to understand. You each have the power to raise your vibration to wherever it needs to go and to make this world a better place to live. And of course it will take even longer for those in power, in politics for example, to realise there is a new way. But it will happen. For now though all you can really do is concentrate on yourself Bring awareness to your own way of living and to do your best to raise your vibration in most situations and to lead with your heart and your intuition and if you're really and if your intuition isn't so strong then ask ask your spirit guides because you have them to help you but most importantly you must love yourself and you must do the work to remove any blocks you have to living the life you wish to live. Because unless you remove your emotional blocks or your blocks from things that have happened in this life or even previous lives, you won't. So unless you do the work and remove the blocks, whether they are from this life or from previous lives, or and they are probably from conditioning, you will not be able to fully align yourself with the energy of the fifth dimension. But more importantly, for you, for now, for right now, you will not be able to live your life with complete joy and authenticity and that is what the fifth dimension calls for. But also that is what joy calls for. It's time to rid yourself of any baggage that no longer serves you. And be your very true self from your heart. Speaking your truth with love. And taking care of those around you again with love and indeed taking care of mother earth herself for she is essential so we hope we have explained things clearly for now we leave you in love and light if you have any further questions then contact Olwyn and we will be happy to channel for you directly. Thank you. Right, so I hope that made some sense. I think the key to everything is to work on yourself. And the more you work on yourself and the more you heal yourself, the more you are more aligned with your soul's purpose. And that is what this is all about. It's all about more living from your soul, from your heart. What is your soul's purpose? What are you here to do? And quite often through 
lifetimes or even just this life we've been taught or we've learned that we're not allowed to do that or we shouldn't do that or maybe things have just got in the way so do the work it's worth it I'm still a work in progress <laughs> but I am turning up more and more in the life I'm meant to be in so that's it for now um, you can see from that how I channel and um, you know my guides are obviously available to you through me and if you want to work on any issues that you have whether it's to do with raising your own vibration or just to do with your everyday living then please do contact me and we can work out a way of working together I'm here to try and to try and help and to teach and to show people there is a better way of living so with much love and thank you for listening bye